Hey guys, happy Friday. Hello. Hi, Hearn Eagles. We are excited to bring you the virtual assembly. Today we will have our house assembly. Online, of course. And remember your camp's behavior. Your conversation level should be at a zero. H, if you need help, raise your hand. A, activity level is that you're listening. M, a movement is that you're somewhere sitting still. P, participation is that you may clap. S, success, once you do all of these things, you show that you are a respectful audience member. Remember that even though we're five houses, we still belong to one campus and we have our representation there on the wall. Let's go ahead and do our pledge. I come to school to learn and lead. Hearn Elementary is where you soar. Safe, on task, act responsibly, respect self and others. It's a great day to soar. Boys and girls, remember to keep doing your part to keep your fellow Texans safe. Remember to practice social distancing. If you must go out, stand about six feet away from the person that's next to you. Keep your hands clean by using soap and water and washing for 20 seconds or using 60% alcohol hand sanitizer. Clean and disinfect all the surfaces you touch. Stay home if you feel sick. And if you really feel sick with the cough and fever or shortness of breath, have your parents call a doctor. And remember not to spread germs. Don't touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth and cover your cough or sneeze using your elbow. Social distancing means standing six feet, six feet away from individuals in public places. And you may see your parents or even us, your teachers, working at home because that's what we've been told we needed to do to practice social distancing. Okay, my friends, now it's time for our house chants. Okay, Zuzon, you're up. Are we ready? Yeah, we collaborate. Yeah, we dominate. We don't get why y'all underestimate. Zuzong House is hot as fire. Got more hype than you can desire. Apples, strawberries, cherries, tomatoes, ketchup, fire truck, red mashed potatoes. All these things we said are red. We're the best thing since sliced bread. Zuzong, Zuzong, Zuzong. Okay, Zuzong, let's see how many house points we're going to get for this week. Give it a spin. All right, we're feeling lucky, feeling lucky. Come on, let's get to that 50. Oh man, almost to 50. You got 25 points, Suzanne. Good job. Okay, up next, we have the Orange House, Mozzawila. If you are in the Mozzawila's house, stand up and represent. Let's do our chant. Five, six, seven, eight. Extra, extra, read all about it. Masawita's gonna win and there's no doubt about it. We're rough, we're tough, we're hard to beat. So come on, Orange, let's move your feet. All right, good job, Masawita. Let's give it a spin. Let's see how many house points you're gonna get for this week. Okay, feeling lucky, feeling lucky. All right, 25 points. Great job, Matsuwila. You earned 25 points. All right, our next house is the Yellow House, Shazar. If you're in the Sh Sh Shazar house, stand up and represent. Let's say our chant. Five, six, seven, eight. Yellow, yellow, like the sun. We're so bright, we're number one. Yellow, yellow, we ain't mellow. Make your team look like jello. Yellow, yellow, like the sun. We're so lit. Come get you some. All right, Shazar, let's see how many points we're going to get for this week. Give it a spin. Come on. All right, spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning, and oh, 75 points. Great job, Shazar. You got 75 house points for this week. All right, let's see who's up next. 
Greenhouse, where is all of my Zadania house representatives? Stand up and say your house chant with me. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Listen, we are the green team singing in the halls. We're going to win this thing. With spirit in place and a smile on our face, you can hear us cheering all over the place, singing, we will, we will rock you, rock you. Saying, we will, we will rock you, rock you. All right, Zidane, let's see how many house points we're going to earn for this week. Come on, I'm feeling lucky. That's 100, 100. We want 100 points. Come on, come on, come on, Will. Come on, get to the 100. Oh, 75 points. Great job. We got 75 points, Zidane. Okay, our last house. Fuma, the black house. If you're a Fuma house, stand up and represent your house. Let's say our chant. Five, six, seven, eight. We are Fuma and we are strong. Let's all scream and shout our song. Fuma is great and Fuma is fast. We'll leave the others in the past. We're so good, we will not rest. We'll put the others to the test. All right, Fuma, let's see how many house points we're going to get for this week. Give it a spin. Come on, we want 100 points. Feeling lucky, feeling lucky, feeling lucky. Come on, let's get to the 100. Oh, man, okay, we got 75 house points. Good job, Fuma. Okay, now it is time for our student shout out. So let's see who got a shout out this week. From Miss Chu's class, she says, I want to give a positive referral to Patrick Pennington, Jaheem Robinson, and Trinity Cooks for doing their schoolwork and turning it back. Keep up the great work. From Mrs. C, there's some freckle rock stars, Colton Nick, Alicia Weber, Melanie Garcia and Kyvan Bowser, Alasia Weber, sorry. And we also have some first grade rock stars from Miss Wright's class. Gracelyn Pennington and Anthony Wagner have turned in all of their work to me. And from Miss Patterson, William Vieta, Quetzal Guerrero, Kyron Jacobs, and Ayana Alfred. Way to go. And Miss Chop gave a shout out to Santana Alvarado. Freddie Hernandez, Zayden Hernandez, and to Leah Monroe. Great work, friends. And from Mrs. Perez's class, shout out for being math rock stars. Kaden Oles, Kylie Bowser, Kalia Douglas, and Giovanni Lopez. Congratulations. And Ms. Crandall's class, we have Jonathan Monteflores, Shinoria Rios, and Addison Wagner. They and their parents have been working extra hard to get her their assignments. From Mrs. Dean's class, the following students have exhibited positive behavior because they are turning in their assignments and doing a very good job. Jerian Burrell, Juan Cuevas, DeVincent Williams, and Emiliano Aguina. And in Ms. Reshman's class in third grade, Nigel has been completing both the paper assignments and some online assignments under Freckle Math. You're definitely a lean, mean math machine. Great job at completing your work. And Emiliano Lopez has done a great job, a wonderful job at turning in his completed work. Thank you so much, Emiliano, and keep working hard. Ms. Reshman is super proud of you. Also from Ms. Richmond, from her fourth graders, Jerian Burrell, again, is a freckle math rock star. She says she's super proud of all the learning he is doing. Keep up the fantastic work. And Jasmine Rios has been working hard every week, getting her assignments done and turned in. Thank you so much for all your hard work. You are amazing. And then from Mrs. Best, Hazel Ramirez for being a citizen scientist. She is studying how acid rain affects lima, lima beans and collecting samples of pollution. Timey Sellers is working super hard and so is Tamasha. Sergio Rizzo is also one of the first ones to get his packets done. And Juan Garcia is staying connected with Ms. Rizzo to get his work completed. 
Way to go. And from Miss Reina's class, Jose Guerrero for turning in his journal entries. They are amazing. He really put a lot of thought and effort into his journal entries, and I greatly appreciate that he took time to take the Living History Journaling assignment seriously. I appreciate his thoughtfulness and creativity. Christian Baggett did a great job on the COVID-19 notes last week. I appreciate his hard work. Ade Amato, great work on her journal assignment and social distancing assignment this week. She just got access to the assignments and has been working hard. I appreciate her efforts. And we also have parent shout outs. Now, Nigel the third and Nigel Jr.'s parent and guardian work very hard on their assignments and kudos to the parent for texting pictures of their work. I appreciate the tenacity. And Nick and Omero's parent or guardian has been wonderful in trying to get dojo set up, contacting teachers to get work and just, and just being flexible and patient during this. I appreciate the flexibility and patience while we are all trying to help. And Ms. Harper's class, a shout out to Jimena Cruz Mercado. She has responded and turned in her daily work via dojo consistently. She has very profound and thought out responses to her daily inspirational quotes. And from Mrs. Penrod, fifth grade, Brianna Comfort, student and her mom reach out regularly for help and confirmation, questions, etc. Doing an awesome job staying engaged and in touch. And Isabella Lopez Garcia, consistently responsible and focused on work. And for sixth grade, we have Kellen Bowser, staying in touch with me via personal dojo messages. And Kamoria Jones called me for help twice with an assignment. Very proactive and responsible. Way to go. And from Mrs. Simpson's class in fifth grade, there's shout outs to Juan Garcia, Kayla Jones, and Shandell Lewis for turning in work and asking questions when they need help. And then in sixth grade, we've got Kellen Bowser, ID Amaro, and Jose Guerrero for getting work done and turned in and having parents that are great at communicating. Okay, my friends, it's game time. Yay! All right, Miss Henson and Miss Stewart, you two guys are against each other. Are you ready? Ready. You ready. To, okay, you have to guess the riddle. Okay. All right. Okay. Please blow air in me. I come in many colors. I'm a symbol of celebration. Don't touch me with anything sharp. I only last a day or two. What am I? Is it a balloon? Yes, Miss Hinchin, it's a balloon. Congratulations. <laughs> One point for Miss Hinchin. Good job. All right, Miss George, you got this. You got this. Okay. All right. Children love to play with me. I am not useful indoors. Don't tangle my long string. Look up and watch me dance. Run if you want me to fly faster. What am I? A kite. Okay, Miss Stewart. <laughs> Good job, Miss Stewart. Good job. Okay, so we're tied up one and one. All right, next one. I am safe to ride. I go very high in the sky. You will get surface on me. You can watch a movie inside me. I might make your ears pop. Is it an airplane? Yes, it's an airplane. The movie had me confused for a minute. Well, you can watch movies in an airplane. If you go yes, for a long can. Yes, they have movies. Okay, next one. Are we ready? Ready. Ready. I'm usually made of brick or wood. I have many doors and windows. I will keep you warm and cozy. Sell me when your family grows. Please clean me for visitors. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Is it a house? Yes, it's a house. <laughs> oh. Good house. job, Miss Stewart. Good job, Miss Stewart. <laughs> I forget about the cleaning for visitors. Yes. <laughs> Y'all are tied up. This is the tiebreaker. Last question. <laughs> I use a long track. I transport heavy loads. 
Many tourists use me. Watch for lights to stop for me. I will show you beautiful scenery. Hmm. Is it a train? Yes, a train. Yay! <laughs> the winner. Congratulations, Miss Henshin. That was super fun. That was fun. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, just some mental health reminders. We have to keep ourselves sane during this time that we're at home. So this can be for you and your parents and teachers who are watching. Just get dressed, even if it's just into comfy clothes, this will help you feel more productive and less in a rut. Work with your parents to eat new healthy recipes, eat a variety of food and try different recipes. Be creative, try doing new activities or bringing back old activities. Getting creative is a great way to keep your spirits up and your mind relaxed. Stay connected, even though you may not can go visiting right now, you can call, video chat, and this will help you connect with the people that you miss and help you feel less isolated. Do your hair, and well, kids, we don't wear makeup yet, but do your hair, even if you're not going anywhere, this can help you feel normal in a very chaotic time. Uh, it also helps people relax when they do hair and makeup. Get some fresh air, go for a walk, go ride your bike, just go somewhere, even if it's standing and uh, looking out the window at the beautiful scenery. We've had some wonderful days. Unplug. If everyone is talking about that virus and you're tired of hearing it, turn off the TV, turn off your devices and get some well-deserved time away. And just reach out. If everything is just getting too overwhelming for you, please talk to somebody. You remember, you can talk to me. I have a link on Dojo and Facebook, or you can have your parents talk to you, but reach out to someone. All right, guys, stay safe and stay positive. We'll see you next week. We miss and love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.